Hi guys, welcome to Android Guider. So in this video, we will be reviewing AOS IP 5.9. So this room is based on Android Nougat 7.1.1. This is an official build of the room for the Redmi Note 3. This is AOS IP 5.9. The build date is 30th of April and uh, it comes in with the April 1, 2017 security patch. The SC Linux status of the stock kernel is enforcing by default. Also, if you would have noticed, then uh, the kernel version is uh, 3.10.104. So it comes in with the latest uh, Linux version as well. So that's great to see. So most of the configurations which uh, the ROM packs in are present under Owl's Nest. So first up, we have the advanced system settings. So we have uh, got a bunch of blur configurations in here. So I will just be covering them up very, really, very quickly. So basically, you know, uh, first up, we have all these color filters. Now, uh, these color filters uh, will be applied accordingly, automatically by the system, uh, depending upon the background color. So, say if uh, the image background, uh, which we have in the recent story, you know, this image background, this is what I'm talking about. If that background color is light, then this color will be used. If the image background is dark, then this will be used. Or if it is a mixed light and dark, then this color combination will be used. So, you can, we'll just quickly set a bunch of colors in. And yeah, uh, this is the color picker which we have in here. So you can uh, select any color of your choice from this uh, sliding color palette in here. Or uh, if you want to enter uh, any custom hex color code, then you can do that as well. So yeah, we have a bunch of configurations in here. So let's see. Now we'll uh, simply blur the recent sub background. And there you can see that uh, this is the light image background. And now, you know, you can... Uh, the background color as you can see it varies as per the as per the background image again if it is a light colored background then uh, the red color will be applied if the image background is dark then the green one or if it's a mixed one then yellow will be applied so that's how these uh, blur settings work again uh, if you just want to have a quick look at uh, the scale and the radius settings so now you can see that uh, we have this red color applied because uh, it is a light colored background uh, you know why it's obviously a light color yeah that should make sense okay now uh, just in case if you just uh, quickly want to see the blur scale and the blur radius i'll just put the blur radius to somewhere in between say 13 now you know this is what the blur scale is about now you can see that i have put the blur scale to a minimum value and you'll now just change the blur scale you can see the things getting a bit uh, uh i mean the opacity is increasing and now when i just it up all the way up to 20 then you can see we can't actually see anything um actually i was thinking if there is uh if there was a reset option you know some some rooms come in with the reset option even in the blur settings but i think they don't have that anyways uh so well uh, this is what the blur scale is all about it is uh, it configures the amount of opacity now i will just put uh, some the blur scale somewhere in between and now i will just uh decrease the blur radius all the way down to one now okay sorry again you know you can see the blur radius is responsible for blurring the amount of information that is in the background now you can see that um, maybe i should have picked the light color uh maybe you know some sort of gray would have done better yeah, i think let's go with this maybe and let's see um again i will just put all the way the blur radius to one again you know you can see the differences then to 13 and you can see the amount of information that is being blurred that has changed so blur scale uh, is responsible for the opacity and the blur radius is responsible for the amount of information then similarly you can uh, configure the extended uh, status bar opacity when you are down in the quick settings panel how do you want the things to be uh, translucent you can configure that translucent translucency level again uh, just if you want to have a quick look this is zero and this is all the way up to 100 you know there you can see it and then similarly we have the blur scale and the blur radius for the recent subsection then if you want to customize the USIP summary text uh, you can do that uh, media scanner behavior on boot uh, then scrolling cache these are the options which we have uh, then uh, you can configure the power plus volume up behavior start the screen recording or take a screenshot of a specific area on the screen again i will just really very quickly show this to you uh, okay 
again now you know you can see that uh, the screen's color has changed a bit so now i will just pick a region of the screen which i want to take a screenshot of and well there we go you know the region which i had selected its uh, screenshot has been taken so well uh, this is what uh, this uh, uh, selecting uh, this screenshot uh, you know taking a screenshot of a selecting re selectable area is all about then you can configure the screenshot delay uh, if you want to enable or disable the toast icon you can do that and then in the end we have got the alarm blocker and the wake lock blocker and suspend actions this is basically uh, settings for uh, saving up on your battery you can configure uh, you know these actions will be executed uh, the moment the screen goes off so you can configure the action delay and then uh, switch to 2g network disable mobile data disable gps so basically uh, you know all these settings will uh, help in extending that uh, deep sleep timeout uh, which will you know in the end obviously increase your battery life then under gestures we have brightness control double tap to sleep on the status bar and double tap to sleep on the lock screen then we have some hardware key settings uh, for the navigation bar buttons you can enable or disable them you can configure the backlight timeout uh, and then i think this is maybe the brightness of the backlight you know how bright the backlights uh, the backlight should be again uh, then you can configure the single tap and the long press and the double tap action of the back key home key and the overview button which is the recent key again uh, you know i will just let you guys have a look at uh, you can select any custom action default settings are obviously uh, basic so you know the obviously a uh, single tapping on the back uh, on the back navigation bar button will obviously uh, take you behind and the home button will take you directly to the home desktop screen the recent app will open the uh, recent app menu so uh, again you know default settings that's pretty clear by the name itself then you can select custom action and this uh, this is the list which i want to show you so these are the custom actions which uh, you can choose from again one handed mode is in there uh, partial screenshot is in there so that's what uh, the selectable area screenshot is called partial screenshot volume panel wifi and a bunch of options are in there and then if you want to if you want to launch any particular application then you can do that also if you want to launch any activity contact direct dial omni switch settings shortcut you know so bunch of options in here you can tweak this as as per your choice and again uh, if you use the uh, tasker then um, again these gestures just might come in handy then we have the power menu settings so we have the advanced power menu first up again uh, you know you can choose the which options which you uh, which option do you want to be shown in the status bar so if i just select all the options then uh, this is how the power menu looks like now if you want to disable this uh, scroll bar kind of thing then you will have to decrease the device dpi so you know if you just decrease the dpi then uh, more contents will be accommodated on the screen uh, and the the font size would just become a bit smaller so that uh, but yeah you will definitely get rid of this uh, scrolling bar if you don't prefer that then uh, you can decrease the device dpi next up we have the power menu animation again i prefer to you can there are a lot of options in here uh, i'll just let you guys have a look at them so these are the ones which we have i personally prefer to have the bottom one in and just uh, slide the power menu from the bottom edge of the screen i like that again uh, if then you can enable or disable uh, to show the power menu on the lock screen we have lock screen torch and then you can customize the dim background amount in the end then we have the volume rocker settings you can uh, choose uh, uh, the volume key, key cursor control you know volume up moves right or left you know what should happen uh, when you are typing the text how should the cursor move then uh, volume con keys control media volume instead of the media stream one uh, then we have the playback control swap the volume keys when the device is rotated use the volume keys to wake up the device then volume down for do not disturb mode again you know if you just uh, quickly want to see this you know uh, when i just decrease the volume to the uh, just below the minimum volume then uh, it will automatically enter the do not disturb mode so this is what it is about and then volume up in do not disturb mode uh, automatically exit the do not disturb mode and then if you want to have that do not disturb switch directly in the volume panel you can enable that so that's all what we have in the hardware button section then uh, moving on we have the lock screen tweaks you can uh, enable or disable the lock screen clock you can customize its font too again there are a bunch of options in here so just quickly if you want to have a look at them
so this is all what we have in here uh, then you can uh, enable or disable the uh, status bar clock you know whether you want this clock uh, the clock in the status bar to be shown on the lock screen or not you can do that then you can also enable or disable the date alarm music visualizer media cover art charging info then uh, if you want the uh, uh, fingerprint to vibrate uh, then you can enable that fingerprint unlock after reboot so just for uh, if you don't want this uh, added on um, authentication uh, to always enter your uh, you know uh, usually what it happens is that after you reboot your device or power it on back again uh, then uh, after uh, you have entered your uh, after you uh, put in your uh, fingerprint uh, it also asks for an additional verification in the form of your uh, in the form of your uh, either your pin lock or the pattern lock uh, whichever one you are using so in case you want to avoid that uh, extra security measure you can enable or disable this option accordingly then uh, show power menu on the lock screen that's the last option which we have and then you can configure the middle lock screen shortcuts uh, and the bottom ones and then uh, open the custom lock, uh, lock screen shortcuts on long press if you want to enable them open them just by a simple tap then you can just disable this option and then in the end we have the lock screen weather info you can uh, uh, enable or disable the location you can configure the icon back uh, yeah we just have one option in here in here and then in the end we have the service settings i'll just enable this and again we have omni jaws for uh, which omni jaws is responsible for uh, displaying the weather on the lock screen and even in the status bar we will take a look at all those settings later on you can configure the update interval one hour two four six or twelve hours then uh, uh, you can choose the weather provider open weather map or yahoo uh, you can configure the metric unit degree celsius or degree fahrenheit or and then if you want to have a custom location in uh, which i usually do prefer to have yeah and obviously both the open weather map and your weather map both of them work okay um so just quickly if you want to have a look at lock screen weather also you can see that uh, the weather works fine and uh, this is all what we have in here um and then find icon packs you know if, if you want to add in a bunch of them but again um you know uh the moment i just tap on this it force flow this okay um so that's all what we have in the lock screen tweaks navigation tweaks uh, then you can enable or disable the on-screen navigation bar and this room does come in with the dirty unicorns interface package so obviously you get both smart bar and playing uh, very quickly um you know obviously uh so these are the settings which we have in smart bar you can uh, uh, first up, I will just uh, toggle on that button editor. So basically, from in here, you can configure the uh, single tap, double tap, and long press actions. Um, you know, single tap, double tap, and long press actions. For uh, you know, for different keys, it will be uh, the number of configurations which are available are different. So as you saw for the recent key, we had the single tap, long press, and the double tap actions. You could configure all of them, but for the back and the home key, you can only configure the double tap and the long press ones. So you can also add in uh, another icon from in here. You know either you can select any icon pack uh, you know for configuring the icon you can either select a custom icon from a gallery or if you have any icon pack then you can even choose from that uh, the dirty unicorns uh, interface package uh, does support icon packs and if you want to add any navigation bar then obviously you can configure that buttons icon uh, all the actions and then if you want to just remove that uh, icon you can do that cancel finish you know you can do a bunch of stuff and then uh, context buttons layout position you can configure that right to left input method and media action what do you want input arrows only keyboard switcher or input and the media arrows then we have the button touch animation ripple spring flip you know i'll um okay i'll, I'll let you guys have a look at that in the end then you can configure the buttons transparency double tap to sleep on the navigation bar is there then we have that sliding gesture for one-handed mode and then you can also have the navigation bar tint we'll just go back and you know we'll just reset um, again, you know, if you just want to have a quick look at the tint, okay, let's go to blue. There you see, you can see the tint. Uh, now, very quickly, uh, you know, this is the spring uh, animation. Um, then, uh, if you just want to have a look at the flip one, there we go. And then, uh, uh, pixel. You know, this is the pixel animation. You can see all those, you know, different color dots uh, separating out of. Uh, middle one you know yeah so this is the pixel button animation yeah okay uh i guess i should better enable the um on-screen touches option now 
that just that makes things a lot easier okay so you know uh, this is the animation which we have um, we'll go to navigation settings smart bus settings yeah and then you can have the pixel animation for only the home key or home button you know that triple animation plus the pixel animation oh sorry uh, it's a uh, pixel for uh, the pixel animation is only for the home key while the ripple animation is for the back key and the recent key or you know any other navigation bar button which you add on and we'll just change back to fling uh, then you know we have got similar settings and by the way uh, you can you could have customized uh, the gestures in a similar manner to what we had seen in the hardware key section you could have uh, selected the default uh, default settings custom action or the application and uh, then similarly you know you can also we had similar settings in even in uh, uh, smart bar and fling you know these are the actions which you can customize um, you, know, uh, you will get default settings uh, custom action and application in both smart bar and fling so from in here you can customize the swipe gesture swipe gestures so this is what fling is all about you know you draw gestures to execute different tasks so you can configure the right short swipe long swipe swipe up swipe down on both the right and the left halves uh then you know single tap double tap and long press gestures on there you if you can enable or disable the fling logo animation custom logo icon logo image you know you can configure all that stuff ripple color trail width long press delay you know bunch of options in here um so i will just go back and uh, i will just move back to fling and then in the end you can configure the portrait height landscape width and then we have got pulse in the end so pulse is nothing but uh, these are music visualizers which appear in your navigation bar when uh, you are listening to an audio track let's see if the room has a music player then okay it doesn't look like the room has any music player so you know I actually can't show you how uh, how pulse really works uh, you know, so yeah we will have to let that go uh, but yeah you know pulse is nothing i had actually covered that up in uh, my resurrection remix review so if you want to uh, indeed check check out pulse i will put down a link below in the description box for that you know i have covered up uh, pulse in a lot of my rom reviews and you know i still try to cover that up every time i do a rom review but anyways you know if you want to know more about pulse then uh, i will have a link uh, put down below in the description box for you guys to check out okay so that pretty much sums up the navigation settings yep uh then moving on we have the notification settings you can configure the charging leds you know obviously all the colors you can configure them then you have the heads up notifications you can enable or disable them you can configure their timeout uh the snooze timer and force heads uh heads up for dialer show the heads up for dialer even if the heads up is off to avoid full screen dialer on coming calls you know you can enable or disable that as per your choice then you have the power notifications control i had covered that up in my linear joes review you know these are nothing but to uh basically different levels of uh, on uh, how you can uh, allow notifications uh, you know you can customize your notifications according to using the power notification control you know basically these are pretty basic options but again uh, if you want to know more about them i will have a the linear uh, review in which i had covered them covered these options in detail linked down below in the description box then you can enable or disable the force close notifications flash flashlight notifications this uh, i recommend you to enable this feature comes in pretty handy at times then force expanded notifications is there and then we have the three breathing notifications missed call voicemail and sms then in the end you can configure the notification light you can configure its color light with screens on and you know bunch of options in there uh, then we have the pixel links uh, you can you have quick pull down brightness slider brightness icon you can enable or disable all that center date and time uh, okay you know we'll just if you just want to have a look at that uh yeah i think so you know it should have actually centered the date and time um yeah maybe you know the feature is not working uh, i know but it should have centered actually anyways uh, moving on then you can enable or disable the setting shortcut in the you know this one you can enable or disable that uh, then you if you want to similarly you can enable or disable the edit icon multi-user switch and the expand indicator uh, sorry then uh, you also have a custom header image uh, again you know we have got two options in here we have got either dynamic uh, header provider so dynamic header images uh, basically change their uh, these images change throughout the day so there would be a different image for sunset morning noon afternoon evenings nights you know and uh, the static one obviously as the name suggests uh, these images will const remain constant throughout the day 
so you know just in case you want to have a look at that you know this is the normal image pack and this is chronic 3.0 obviously as i have told you the dynamic headers will change throughout the their uh, images throughout the day while the static ones will remain constant and uh, for selecting a, a constant static header image you know these are the options which we have again so from in here you can see that we have got different images for different durations of the day so all of these will be changed automatically depending upon uh, the time they are being used on and then these are the ones which we have in chronic so basically these are the different header images which uh, all the which the uh, header packs have in them and if you want to set any one of these header images as your custom uh, as your static header then all you need to do is just long press on that header image and you you can just see that the header image has been set then you can configure the shadow of the header image and then in the end we have the uh, tile options scroll through small tiles and then you can configure the amount the number of columns and rows in um, uh, portrait and landscape you can configure the tiles animation style very quickly if you want to have a look at that uh, sorry you know this is the flip animation uh, you know something which uh, okay yeah this would be better you know this is the flip animation and this is the rotate one yeah you know also you can see that uh, flashlight that notification which I was talking about tap to turn it off and yeah it will turn off then you can configure the animation duration and the animation interpolator a bunch of options in here as well then you can configure the service settings uh, you know i had already covered these up so you can configure the icon pack we only have one in here then advanced data dial so you know obviously if you want to disable all those annoying bugs you know if you just want to disable stuff with one tap then i will recommend you to enable this option similarly we have that wi-fi easy toggle it will just simply uh, instead of opening that advanced menu it will simply just disable the wi-fi or, or toggle it back on depending on what you are doing then we, we similarly have that same option for bluetooth uh, then uh, quick setting tiles you can enable or disable that uh, music title track so you know basically uh, we have got a bunch of uh, tiles i will just be explaining this option uh, then vibrate on touch and uh, if you want to enable or disable uh, quick settings uh, on a secure lock screen then you can do that so basically if you want uh, the quick settings panel to be shown on the lock screen then uh, you can enable this option sorry uh, i think i said it wrong so if you want to sh if you uh, if you don't want uh, the quick settings panel to uh, to be shown on the locks to be shown on a secure lock screen then uh, you can just uh, let this option be as it is or if you uh, uh, sorry i will say that back again if you want the quick settings panel to be shown on a secure lock screen then um, you can uh, let this option be as it is or if you just want to disable this then just enable this option okay uh, so you know these are the quick setting tiles which are enabled by default and these are the ones which you can add on so a lot of options to choose in from and in fact we have the google assistant uh, quick setting tile in here too again you know this is something i i think i haven't uh, seen this in any other room and uh, you know this is the music tile which i'm talking about so in case you are uh, listening to a music track and if you enable that option which i had talked about just back uh, just a while back you know uh, then uh, the quick settings label would be changed uh, to as uh, the music title track which you are listening to so that's what uh, that option is all about um moving on uh, we have the recent settings you obviously from in here we have omni omni recents the slim ones and then uh, we have got a bunch of stock recents default full screen uh, status bar only or navigation bar only and if you want to hide any apps from the recent app section you can do that we have the clear all button uh, we have got the six location pack and then if you want to enable or disable the memory bar you know you, know, you can do that too i think then uh, we have the status bar settings in the end you know you can uh, configure the battery icon a bunch of options in here landscape uh, circle big circle solid one text you know whatever you want to have then battery percentage inside the icon or next to the icon you know you can choose that you can have the charging color status bar charging current you know if you want to uh, charging uh, the battery percentage outside the uh, icon while charging you can do that and then if you want to have a charging symbol you can enable or disable that you, know, you can choose anything you want and the uh, battery tile style you know obviously uh, i think we had similar options in only well 
yeah uh, sorry i think it's for the quick settings yeah so this uh, battery tile style you know uh, this is one uh, this setting is for the quick setting tile option this one uh, so yeah again you can configure that as per your choice then we have the battery bar settings status bar top of the navigation bar or at the bottom of the navigation bar just keep in mind that uh, the bottom two options top of the navigation bar or the bottom of the navigation bar will not be shown if you haven't enabled the on-screen navigation bar uh, then uh, you know uh, you can configure the location of the battery bar the alignment of the battery bar you have the three options center mirrored and the bottom uh, sorry i think reverse one yeah i'll just put that back to top of the status bar reverse one is aligned to the right edge uh, and the regular one is aligned to the left then you can configure the thickness then if you want to have charging animation you can enable or disable that you can configure the battery bar color and then you know if you want to just blend colors you can do that carry label you can configure the position and then you can edit the carry label text clock settings you know using this master switch you can enable or disable the clock entirely if you want to show show the seconds you can do that alignment you can configure that lights right center left you can show the am pm date you know i have always covered that up again if you just quickly want to have this the normal one this the lowercase date style this is the uppercase one this is the small size this is the normal size and then also you can additionally configure the size as per your wish um and then position of the date left of time or right of time got a bunch of date formats Uh, and then in the end you can also configure the font style for the clock and date uh, Then if you want to show the custom icon, uh, you know, you can always uh, do that left center or left uh, Left center or right you can configure the position color and then you know logos obviously chronic 2.0 You know, obviously a lot of icons in here then status bar items so using from in here you can show 4g instead of lt auto rotate screen you know any icons which you want to enable or disable from in here so say if, if i don't want the wi-fi icon to be shown in the status bar i will just disable this or you know enable it back again for it to be shown you know that's what it is and we also have the headset icon in here uh, then uh, status bar weather if you want the weather to be shown with image without image you know you can configure that notification count and the roaming indicator then we have the network traffic settings you can enable the outgoing incoming or both both kinds of traffic then you can configure the display unit update interval auto hide the network arrows when there's no activity or you know if you just want the um, arrows to be hidden from the network traffic indicator then you can do that and then uh, the inactivity threshold actually determines when should the network arrows be hidden um, well actually uh I don't see the uh, traffic indicators out there. Um, maybe now I'll just uh, uh, let's disable the custom logo. Yeah. Um. Well, uh, I don't know, but uh, the the network traffic indicators are actually not being shown. I don't know why. Uh, maybe it's oh sorry. Uh, yeah, my mistake. The Wi-Fi is not working at all. I hadn't turned on the Wi-Fi. Yeah. So obviously they won't work. Yeah. Ma yeah you can now see the network arrows in there then we have the ticker in the end you can configure the color the icon you know everything the font size and the font style i think yeah, that uh, wraps up the owl's nest then we have app ops i will you know i have already done a detailed tutorial on this i'll have it linked down below in the description box for you guys to check out if you want to know more on how to use app ops for saving on your battery as well as to configure the various permissions for combating malicious apps then nightlight is in there or uh, rotation settings you know you this is where you have your 180 degrees rotation and also the lock screen rotation uh, again slight sleep time mode settings maximum is 30 minutes screen saver ambient display and then you have those dashboard settings in the end and then if you want to configure the device dpi you can configure this value smallest width attribute you can configure that and then obviously you can configure the font size and the display size as per your wish sound settings uh, volume steps is in here um then uh, other sounds dial pad tone screenshot sounds screen locking sounds vibrate on tap touch sounds volume adjustment sounds charging sounds everything is in here and then advanced options you get the low battery notification camera shutter sound safe headset volume and all that um nothing new in here uh, so gestures you know obviously you only get to uh, uh, jump to the camera one security settings uh, unknown sources is checked in by default and you 
only you can configure the lock screen message in here uh, nothing new unknown sources well yeah that's pretty much it and lastly we have the developer options um so only i'm unlocking is checked in by default um restart system UI that option is in here android debugging that is also checked in by default then uh, mock location app you can configure that from in here then we have a bunch of wi-fi and mobile data settings uh then you have the animation settings gpu rendering settings uh force apps on external again you know just use this if you want to save up on your internal storage i guess uh, that pretty much uh, sums up everything um you know these are the apps which we have in here by default uh, equalizer we get uh, we do get that you know you can configure the speaker output headphones and bluetooth and if you use a bluetooth uh, set you, know, you can use this master switch to enable or disable the outputs entirely then uh, mm, we do have a sound recorder messaging app omni switch recents well, and then if you want to just check out the gallery you know took a bunch of screenshots um Uh, okay yeah so you know uh just quickly if you want to have a look at the editing options then you know you have got a bunch of filters in here and you can configure from all that uh and then uh, we also have some frames you know and then uh, if you can crop the image straighten it rotate it uh draw its mirror you know if you want to just draw anything blah 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 you can you know even configure the color from the color palette style size color clear you know everything so also and then in the end you can uh, configure its exposure auto color vignette you know graduated so yeah, yeah a bunch of options in here uh then reset information show applied effects export print you know well yeah so uh you know again uh the even the and then you know from in here you can just view the slideshow crop sets uh set picture as print settings well you know oh uh, yeah so I would say a lot of options in here then you can you know obviously change the view layout uh select item group them by well you know so obviously a lot of options albums location times types so they are uh, sorted by a large uh, amount of variety well so yeah i think uh, this pretty much wraps up this rom review uh lastly if you just want to have a quick look at the wallpapers then uh, you know this is the only one which the rom comes in with this is the default wallpaper widgets uh you know these are the ones which we have Omni Jaws is in here. You know, it's great to see that. Obviously, you can if you just want to know more about the, you know, can configure the background shadow and everything. You know, if you want to know more about the coming weather, and then uh, the stock launch only has one setting that is to enable or disable the home screen rotation. Yeah. So I guess uh, this pretty much uh, sums up this ROM review. So in case you like this video, hit that thumbs up button, and uh, if you want to get in notification in whenever we upload our future videos through this channel, then do subscribe to us as well. So thanks for watching, guys. Take care, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.